Gibbons covered by Anthony. Here in this third quarter, just over a minute play. And it's Johnson penetrating. Hill with some nice D. Well, the effort was there, but he just couldn't quite find his way through traffic. Here's Anthony, and that's good. A nice job in the glass as they pick up two on the second effort. Well, we've seen that more than a few times. An easy bucket in the lane. Yeah, the interior defense simply has been lifeless. And let's get this update now from Doris Burke, who's across the way on the sideline. Thanks, Kevin. Casey Kidd had some words for his team over that last break. Teamwork was the theme of the discussion in that huddle. He said, quote, Good shots are there for us on the perimeter if we share the ball, work it around, and find the open man. He also wants them to concentrate on working as a team at the offensive end. Passing, patience, and teamwork, those were the messages. Coach was not wasting any time in altering their strategy here in the second half, and Kevin, he's going to have to hope those changes take effect quickly. Doris, Tim Hardaway Jr. checked in for the Knicks. Outside, Harper. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Nets trail by 18. Lopez passes to Gibbons. The dish to Sullinger. Passes it to Bogdanovich. Off target from three-point range. For New York, they've gone two of five, shooting here in the third quarter. The kick out to Harper. There's the three, and good on the basket. Book it. Harper's got 22 three. points. Clark, the coach, was really bashing in that last title, trying to do everything he can to get his message across. You know, and I'm not sure what he wanted exactly, but he did it with enough fire that I'm guessing he's not going to be happy with any lapse in execution. I mean, he made his point pretty clear. Mason Plumley's checked in for the Nets. Hickson comes in for Selinger. A shot by Johnson, no good. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but in the rebounding department, too, Clark. Yeah, it's been a really gritty performance. They'll have some bruises to show for it, but that's the way it should be. You should feel that you've competed when you do that work inside. And Harper drops them both. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Gibbons. He's guarded by Harper. Picks in a screen on Harper. Johnson for three, and he gets it to go. Johnson's got ten points in the game. Very well executed pick to give him all kinds of space to get that one off. Outside Harper. Inside. Here's Reese. Soft touch off the glass. And you can feel the, the pattern of this game, guys. They're, they're working it inside, dominating in the paint, getting good shots at will. Well, four of their last five baskets, guys, have been of exactly that variety. Pass to Gibbons. Here's Bogdanovich. It's stolen by Early. And a fast break now for the Knicks. Harper dishes to Hardaway. Banked in off the glass. Hardaway has got his second bucket of the game to go. Excellent ball movement there, guys. Yeah, I think that's what's keyed this run, Clark, because they're keeping the ball moving. Defense hasn't been able to set up. Shoots from the baseline. Another one falls for Brooklyn. And so here is New York. This game against Brooklyn here, it's their first look at the Nets. And a year ago, they avoided any mistakes winning the season series against this club. Right wing. There's the pass to Bogdanovich. The Nets working the ball around now. Here's Plumley, And the rebound goes to the Knicks. Harper's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Takes a three. And it's good. Harper's got eight here in the quarter. He's created some good opportunities for himself and made the most of them. Brooklyn's gone one of three from downtown since halftime. And that's a foul called on bottom. That is his first foul of the game. And Brooklyn making a change here. Second team foul. Nets substitution. Wilcox. 121 left to play in the third. McKenzie. So it looks like the Nets will retain possession here. So a moment now. Let's check out the story on Tim Hardaway Jr. 
how he performed last season. Last year averaged 14 points a game, three assists, two rebounds. And when you take his overall contributions on the whole, he's been putting up pretty good numbers, but I think he can do more. And Steve, sometimes that's just part of the game, weathering periods where your stats might not show all of what you're doing on the floor. Feeds to Johnson. Plenty of space, and he nails the jumper. Assistant. Johnson's got 14. It was almost like he was surprised to be that wide open, yet he knocked it down. Harper the pass to Reese. A chance here now to see how the Nets ranked in the NBA last season. First in free throw percentage. First in opponent field goal percentage. And they also showed up in the top five in fewest turnovers. When you squeeze the orange and take care of the basketball like they do, you put yourself in position to win. And uh, to me, the, 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 the number that you look at is the free throw percentage, first in the league. And that's why they were so aggressive in attacking the rim. They, they spent a lot of time every game trying to attack the paint area, get themselves those easy points at the free throw line. And they were so good at it. You know, why not? And now let's have a look at the teams that were last year's best from the free throw line. Jordan. Number one, the Nets. Yeah, they made that a point of emphasis a year ago. Uh, they really spent a lot of time on the practice floor at the free throw line, and it sure paid off. The Knicks making a switch here. Hills checked in. And in the paint, they have really shown some strength. Their work on the boards has been phenomenal. Yeah, I'd certainly call it a mismatch, Steve, at least for today. Three-second difference between shot clock and game clock. Back to Harper. Three-pointer. The rebound by Johnson. I don't know if it's just me, but he's looked a step slow since the start of the quarter. His shooting has really suffered. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. You know, even from here, you can see that one pretty clearly. Yep, pretty obvious. And a good call by the official. <laughs> and he's good on the second. Harper with the ball. He's got 27. Here's Anthony. And he drops it in from the low post. Anthony's got eight points. A little touch of class there, guys. The end of that play with the finger roll. Here's Johnson. The shot is off. Take a look at our State Farm assist of the game with six in the game. Substitution. You're up. Let's go. Time to do my thing. And for Brooklyn, they're shooting 40% from the field, setting the floor for the Nets. They've got Hickson. Brooke Lopez is out there with Jared Sellinger. Then there's Johnson, and it's Scola in at the small forward. Here's Johnson. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. Boy, it's been a great game for Johnson tonight. He's got 14 points, and he's hit the mark twice from three-point range as well. Well, it's no secret. I mean, the more points he can come up with from out there, the better off they'll be offensively with their spacing. And, guys, what do you think about the hustle stance for New York? You know, with their fast break operating so efficiently, I mean, you can see why they've gone with it throughout the game. The other thing they're doing, guys, is forcing turnovers and then creating points offensively as a result. Fine is good, so both teams making some changes here. Johnson hits them both. The Knicks have gone a perfect 4 of 4 to start the final quarter. Can't ask for anything more than that. And he knocks it down. Good looking three there from Harper. Harper's got 30. I think they're trying to go for the kill here. I mean, they're starting to take a lot more three-point shots than they had been before, looking to run away. Yeah, and that's fine as long as you're making them, but uh, make sure you don't start launching bad shots. That's a problem. Johnson outside. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Johnson's got 11 points here in just the second half. New York's gone 6 of 12 from outside. A very nice 50% mark, shooting the three ball well. Harper kicks to Calderon. Now Harper, and he takes that one up and powers it through. 
He is capable, Clark, of some incredible athleticism. And we just got a chance to see it on full display right there. Well, you gotta love a point guard who can finish like a power forward. Here's Scola, and he makes the eight-footer. Knicks have gotten absolutely red hot shooting the ball here in the fourth. A perfect six for six. Here's Harper. Misses off the right iron. And it is very dangerous to leave him open like that. Lucky break for the defense, and he missed it. Not watching the line there. That'll be a backcourt violation. We're in the fourth quarter here. Just under two and a half minutes gone. From outside the arc, and again, New York with the triple. The D with very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have been of the three-point variety. Yeah, and unless they make some rotations and closeouts defensively, there's more to come, Clark. Lopez left side. The jump hook can't hit, so New York will take it the other way. They owes the Kings after this game, and that game is the second of two straight at home. From downtown, Harper, no good. Kevin, I didn't like that defensive effort at all, but they're lucky he missed it. Yeah, they were uh, very lucky defensively because there was some miscommunication there. They left him wide open. Here's McKenzie, and Bargnani sends it back. For New York, they've gone 8 of 10 from the field here in the fourth quarter. Really getting it done. Harper's shot's good. This is incredible. It's been a three-point barrage since halftime. Yeah, whether by design or by accident, it has been impressive. Johnson outside. He kicks it to Lopez. And that one hits back iron. New York's gone to three-point range for 12 of their points in the final quarter on four of five shooting. I love the flow that they've been playing with offensively tonight. This is an impressive performance. Well, and that lead they have just continues to grow and grow. The Nets have gone two of seven from the field in what's been a cold start to the fourth quarter for them. McKenzie passes to Lopez. Fades away. And that one's good. Tough assignment for that defender with the size mismatch we're seeing. Yeah, I, I just don't think he's big enough to, to handle it. A three ball. And it finds the net. Another three-point hit from Harper. Harper's got 45 points. This looks like a pregame shoot-around with all the threes they're allowing. Now, I don't know, Clark. I think there might be even more defense in warm-ups. I mean, this is kind of embarrassing. Lopez passes to McKenzie. Here's Wilcox. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. And one team is just completely outclassing the other tonight. Spirited performance, and it really ignited what is turning out to be a monster win here for New York. Agreed, Steve, and as one-sided as it gets today, you know, Clark, there were uh, some dominant moments in there about every facet of this game for that team. You're right, Kevin. It's hard to think of anything that didn't go right for them. I mean, game planning by the coaches, execution by the players, everything was spot on. And so with this win, they'll move to six victories on the season. Well, this win gives them a victory in round one of what's basically a four-game fight between these teams this season. And it will be a fight, Steve. When you see an opponent that many times, it's inevitable that those games take on a little extra meaning for the players. Fantastic show put on. What an amazing game all around it was for Bottoms. You have to look at his steals and when he would come up with them as major factors in this result. Johnson dishes to Wilcox. Back to Johnson. Screen by Scola. Johnson against Calderon. Shot clock at five. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Harper kicks to Calderon. Bargnani passes to Calderon. And Lopez pulls it down. All the defender had to do there was just stay close to him, and he did. Johnson outside from deep. Can't get it to go. Puts up a prayer. Yep, it's good. So no problem for New York as they get the win.
how much to be critical of with this ring fight. Not at all. I mean, they showed up not just to play. They showed up to give great effort and to win, and they did both.